I, I think he's not feeling well. Not the way I planned on spending my Friday night, but the difference between an ordeal and an adventure is... another beautiful day in Florida. Today's Friday. Finally, the labels came in for our shelf. So I'm gonna put those up today. And then I had a whiteboard right here, which Edder Natty, thank you so much. That was your idea. But it's sticky and the sticky didn't stick to my textured walls and it kept falling, like it kept sliding. And I was like, okay, that's not gonna work. But when I was at Office Depot, I saw that they had a chalkboard. So I'm gonna go get the black chalkboard for that and then finish the pantry and I'm off and running. Um, also in the meantime, I want a little update on Kate. I talked to Brennan today for a while and I talked to Kate um, a little bit today, but she had a kind of a pretty bad fall um, at circus practice the other day and she wasn't sure that she was gonna be able to move her arm ever again in her whole life because <laughs> Kate gets a little dramatic. Yeah, so that was her fall and she was so nervous that she tore a muscle um, like because it was right here if you can like right where above your elbow and she was so nervous that she tore a muscle and like the muscle came out. Um, but here we are a couple days later and no that did not happen. She has a huge bruise but she's still able to practice. She does wrap it and she puts like a my friend's a physical therapist and she FaceTimed her and she put a um, like a pad here and then taped it to disperse the pain, but she's doing fine now. And she said that she practiced the other day in her circus costume for the very first time. So it's coming down the pike, you guys. It's gonna be in April and I'm so excited to go watch. Um, so we will keep you informed. I've got to buy tickets, but I'm not sure what show she's going to be in. So that's a little bit of a stress. I talked to Brennan this morning. He's doing great. We're getting very close to our spring break trip. So we are going to talk about excursions. Yeah, but in the meantime, hang tight. I'm going to um, take care of the pantry and do a bunch of other stuff and looking forward to Ryan coming home from school and Mike, he arrived home from Maryland last night. So the D3 are in full effect today. Before we go any further, today's pun is guess what you can do with a broken pencil. Stay tuned to the end of the video and we will answer. If you know the answer, comment down below, let us know. <laughs> I'm back from my errands. Mike was trying to do some scanning while I was gone. And how did that work, Mike? Scanning, I don't know if you guys have a, like a home printer or whatever, but scanning on a home printer is like a test of futility. Is that the right word? Because it's so difficult sometimes. Want to see what I got? Yes. I am dying to finish the pantry. I'll just oh. say that. You know how you have those like projects that are hanging over your head and you're like, okay, can we just get it done because you just want to enjoy. I do enjoy it, but oh, first of all, I bought pens, $1.49. We are always out of pens and they were on sale. $1.49. Isn't that crazy? Mm. All right, but I got this. So I was going to get a chalkboard because I eyed this chalkboard when I was there before, but it was completely sold out. So instead I got this whiteboard. It's a Martha Stewart, not that that matters. It's a little brandy, like she has these cute little things. Great, so I'm gonna put that up in the pantry with my um, command strips. And then we have the markers. And then I'm gonna put my labels on the shelves. Done. And I can move on to the next DIY project, which there is a whole line of projects waiting. By the time you're done, the place is gonna be like, Sparkling! I know! Uh, I know! You're gonna open the door, the whole place is gonna vibrate <laughs> right. with awesomeness. And there'll be like volcanoes going <laughs> off, and eruptions, and fireworks, <laughs> and all the good stuff. That's great. Hi, buddy. Good um, job, so, thank you. So, I'm almost done with that. Keep going. Thank you. Ryan, I noticed you're wearing your bathing suit. Did you actually yeah. wear that to school? Yeah, I was like, I was a little inspired. My friend Jaden just oh wears gosh. like his bathing suit to school sometimes. And I was like, I got free will. We were gonna go to the beach today too, so I was like, I'll just stay in this the whole day. I'm not anymore, but I'm still happy with my decision. You are. All right. I, was like, I, I did it and I would do it again. Why would I wear these shorts that I've worn like two or three times this week when I can just chuck on like yeah, and you know, you got nice looking legs, you so, got a sweet bathing suit. Love, we live in Florida. I, I mean, it's not even sneaky. No, it's... did anybody say anything? Yeah, they and did. I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm feeling beachy today. 
<laughs> was like Outer Banks came out. I'm feeling. Uh, oh, did yeah, it? I haven't watched that. Like, oh, okay. Movie. I was like, what the heck? I did. It did, but like, yeah. Anyway. Okay. All right. This Very the, good. This was the fit choice today, and I'm happy with it. Well, you should be. You know what? You are you. You do you, Ryan. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Talk about confidence. But uh, it's Friday. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see Cocaine Bear tonight. Okay. Can't I don't. Wait. Ryan told me about that. I don't know about that. I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's terrible that they made fun of a bear. They, they I mean, didn't make fun of it. Well, I don't know, you guys. What do you think about that? I, that doesn't sit well with me. I gotta say, it does, I mean, you can go see it. Again, you have your own free will. You make your own deci decisions, Ryan. If you can live with yourself after it, like when I have bathing suit to school. Or... Very low hopes for the movie. Like, I don't think it'll be very good. He was I telling don't... me this last night. I'm like, listen, you probably get, let's say, if you're lucky, between 80 to 90 years on this earth. Why would you spend two plus hours of it watching Cocaine Bear? Because then you get 80 to 90 years of regret and curiosity of what was that movie really like? <laughs> do all the things see all the things do it all okay i mean fit it all in i guess is good that's what i'm saying all right well you want to see the pantry babe i finished it Um, if you want groceries or if you are like, oh, wait, we're out of something, just put it right there. <laughs> I already put cereal up there, peanut butter. I know that you need those. Anything else you need? No? I'm good right now. All right, but look, it's right little thing right yeah, there. perfect. All right? You good? Yeah, I'll add them up. Yeah. Dude, let's go. I'm going right. to have a little happy sauce right now. I think now. that's a good idea. Yeah. Funny thing is I realized I finished the pantry and I'm like doing all the like beautiful pictures of it and everything for the TikTok I'm going to make mm -hmm. and there's no cereal in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. You, you know wanna, what? You might want to take a video of a stock pantry. Uh, I know. <laughs> it's it's real though. This is real, you guys. I mean, that's, that's how that's how it is. Right. All, all the stuff you see on TikTok is fake. Is fake. Yeah. Not all of it. Well, a lot of it. Yeah. But anyway. There you go. There you have it. All right, big weekend. My sister's in town, so hopefully we're going to get a chance to see her. What else you got going on, Ryan? Wednesday, SAT, and then Friday is like end of the quarter, I think. Oh, is it? Or it's around the end of the quarter. It might be the week after that. I think it's the week after, because that's spring break. Yeah, oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, and that's spring break. Let the countdown begin. Let the countdown begin. So if you guys don't know, on our spring break trip, we are going on a cruise, which we mentioned before, and Katie's roommate's family is coming with us. We've cruised with family, but never with friends so far. So I think it's going to be a blast. Looking forward to it. There'll be lots of euchre being played. Aww. Because they play euchre too. on drugs? No. He seems very... He looked at me, and he seems very... You know, I... Other than, you know, this one. I think he... I think... mellow. Yeah, I think he might... I have to take him to the vet. I think there might be something wrong. I think he's not feeling well. All right, you guys. My day changed quite dramatically. Decided to bring Eddie to the veterinarian. He's down here underneath my chair. Look at him. There he is. Hey, buddy. He's been having little, little symptoms. So um, he's been urinating outside of the box, which hasn't been great. He's been meowing a lot. Been a little lethargic. Not a little restless. So they said it might be a urinary blockage, but I don't think it's. Well, it's not that. They said it could be, but they checked on that. It's not that. So now he's waiting here again. He's going to go back. And maybe it's a urinary tract infection. I'm not sure about that. It might be just. I don't know what it. What it might not be anything. <laughs> but I, they say that cats, when they're in pain, they don't let you know. So I don't want to have him in pain and not know. So I'm going to um, see what they say, little guy. Stay tuned. Waiting. Still waiting. Hi. Doing some planning. Still waiting. You being a good boy. Okay, we're in the exam room now, but I've officially been here now for two hours and 48 minutes at the vet. Um, the doctor did come in. They tested, or they're testing Eddie's urine, and they said, do you guys want to even hear this? Oh, gosh. They said that he might have crystals in there, and the pH is off, and he's uncomfortable. They're giving him pain medication. They're going to put him on a prescription diet for probably the rest of his life. So, okay. Anyway, it should help with him peeing outside the box and that kind of thing. We've been able to manage that lately thank goodness but anyway so that's what's going on with Eddie I just don't want him to be in pain and I want him to um, 
feel better. So I think he's going to. Hi, buddy. Oh, they gave him some pain medication. He's getting a little relaxed. Good boy. All right, we're gonna take you home, okay, lovey? Have a little sleepies. Get some good food. All right, there's little buddy. What's the word? Well, the good news is he doesn't have a urine, uh, a batter, bat, bladder blockage. Boom. Yes, oh. that's number one. Give me some. That's right, that's right. The second good news. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what that process is like. Hi, butter. The second good news is he does not have a urinary tract infection. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Excellent. That's huge. That's it, huge. That is. Good for the program, right? Well, another high five. Another high five for him. Right What'd you say? Learn about the digestive system and anatomy. So. so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. He has um, crystals in his... Um, stones? Yeah. He hasn't been drinking enough water. Maybe that's it. Ryan, how do you know that? That's uh, pretty good. I mean, I'm they didn't say you, that, but. I'm kind of an academic person. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I bet you I mean, are. Me and Gary just. So yeah. he's all hyped up on all kinds of medication. Oh, uh, good. Good stuff. Yeah. Didn't you make a joke about that before I we did. left yeah. here? And now it's, real. <laughs> now it's, it's actually kind of, true. Kind of <laughs> he's he's like, the, the doors are open. He, had, he, he will not come out. Yes, he did not come out at all in the vet. They had to take the top off to get him out. Oh, so anyway, he is going to be on prescription food the rest of his life. Little guy. pH balanced food. He said it's not that much more expensive than the regular food. Yeah, Thank goodness. Dude, literally, we learned all this. See, Ryan, I should have just asked you. Yeah, I honestly could have. I could have worked. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for not telling me anything. And making me go sit there for three hours. Sorry. <laughs> you guys, this is the first. Yeah, I just realized you left like a while. I, I got there. I checked in at four on the dot. I left at seven on the dot. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Oh, that's love. It yeah. is. And this is the thing. Not the way I plan on spending my Friday night, but the difference between an ordeal and an adventure is... Anybody? It's your attitude, right? It's your attitude, oh, right? And that was... that one right. You knew you'd get that? You, you get that one right. <laughs> And I got to tell you, that was quite an adventure. It was, hi, buddy. Oh, he just had a big fat yawn. It was an adventure because I wasn't sure what to expect, and you just sort of wait. I am freezing cold, though. It was so cold in there. And look, I, I mean, I left so quickly, I didn't even think to bring a sweater. Did you see any other pet friends? There were other pet friends there, yes. Mostly, they all mostly dogs, yes. Yeah, oh, I did see one lady. Oh, it was so sad. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah you guys, pets are part of the family. Pets are part of the family. Yeah. Yes. And the only thing worse than people being in pain for me is animals in pain. I can't stand it. Yeah. I can't stand it. Yeah. So Eddie's, ha is he still in there? Oh, he came out. Oh, good boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, he's giving himself a bath. He's okay. He is getting comfortable. He's getting comfortable. Yeah. So, um, and so yeah. We're so. do the great American tradition of sitting back in the family and watching the no signal screen on our TV. <laughs> it's the best. Listen to a little music. I have a little chill going. You do have a little chill going on. Are my husband's That's nice. Right I don't mind telling you, I'm hungry for dinner. Yeah. I'm going to eat a little dinner. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't care where, but I'm yeah, very I'm hungry. Like Let's go to Costco and get a hot dog. I was thinking exactly that, Mike, because I do have some Costco <laughs> shopping. We're going to spend our Friday night at Costco. So my sister's in town, and she invited us to go out to this um, oyster bar with her. My parents are there. We're like, no. Well, we were going to go to a fish fry instead, and then I ended up at the vet, and so now we're going to end up eating dinner at oh, Costco. Oh, we can't have a hot dog. It's Friday. Oh, right. Right. Okay. All right. What are you doing, Ryan? What are you going to do? Getting picked up in five minutes to go to Cocaine Bear. Oh, my gosh. All right. That's can't nice. wait. Where I'm going to eat popcorn and not meat. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, it's you know, Friday. I had, I had a PB&J. I had applesauce. I had cereal for breakfast. Uh-huh. I'm good. You had cereal for breakfast? I didn't even know we had cereal. It's on my list of no, things I, I need to buy. I had a PB&J for breakfast, yeah. actually. I had two PB&Js today. <laughs> a little trail mix thing. We definitely need to go to Costco then. All right, you guys, we're going to end this vlog. Um, Ryan, you know what I think I want everybody to see? You, do you remember when you and I went and got the kitties? It was a rainy night when we adopted the kitties. I absolutely remember that day. Uh, that was Absolutely like fabulous. the back of my mind. Yes, it was a fabulous one. It was one. a vlog, wasn't it? It was a great vlog mm -hmm. and just so fun. They were so little teeny tiny. So you guys go ahead and take a look at the vlog where we adopted the cat, the, the kitties. Mike was not so happy because we got, we <laughs> went for one, came back said, for, with said, two. He said, there better not be cats downstairs. I remember that. That is ingrained into my head. <laughs>
No, he said there better not be a cat downstairs. A cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we looked at each other. Oh, there's like, not a cat. There are two. That, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, like, I was quaking in my boots. <laughs> Now he's in love with them. He loves them. All right, guys. Anyway, comment below what made you guys happy today. We will see you tomorrow. All right, guys. This one's pretty good. Guess what you can do with a broken pencil? Nothing. It's pointless. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.